Ah, Chicago, the largest city in the Midwest, rich history of fame, the Windy City and its cultural diversity. Remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. And look at the explore.wallatopia.info site. It's an interactive method to find your next wallet. Now, I mentioned Chicago because Ashland Leather, which we have here, they're in Chicago. And of course, the Horween Tannery is right next to them. Well, we've had a lot of requests for Ashland Leather wallets, and we have the Capone Money Clip wallet right here. So let's get into it. I have to tell you that I love, love, love this wax seal they put on their boxes. This is just so clever and it is so, it's just finesse, honestly. The simplicity of this, I don't know. I don't uh, rave about a box generally, but in this case I will. And we get into a nice little card and here is the wallet. I'm gonna burlap bag, let's pull it out. Oh, geez. Uh, you know, I don't even have to get close to this to realize how good this smells. And so I'm going to do that right now. Oh, baby. So, you know, they're in Chicago, and the Horween Tannery is in Chicago. All their wallets are done with Horween leather. And as you know, that leather has an amazing smell. So let's take a look here at the construction. As always, Ashland produces a, a great quality product. Look at that leather we've got here. Go to the interior. Beautiful. Feels good. As you know, it smells good. And money clip portion here. Well, let's run it through the paces. As a Horween English Dublin tan color, I just uh, I just love the features of the hide that you get in this. So anyway, on to the feature review of the Ashland Leather Capone Wallet. This wallet has two exterior card slots, one on the front, one on the back. These are quick access, love this idea. We go to the interior, we have an additional two card slots, one on each side. And these all have a capacity, these card slots, of one, two, four cards. So you can get quite a few cards in this wallet. And of course we have a money clip. This uh, money clip can hold up to 30 notes, uh, they indicate. So we'll try and test this out, and that is a quick review of the features of the Ashland Leather Capone Wallet. Solid brass, nickel-plated uh, money clip here. We'll talk about this as we get into it. But right now, let's do the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I got two cards in there per slot, so it's eight, looks like that, and a bunch of notes. You'll notice that the larger, the taller currencies, the yen, uh, the larger euro notes didn't fit very well. Now, minimalist card options on this, I think, is four, reasonable is, I don't know, eight, ten. The company says it can hold up to 16 cards and 30 notes. I imagine once it breaks in, it'll be just fine for that. This is designed and made in the United States, Chicago specifically, as we mentioned, which is puts them right next door to the Horween Tannery. And if you're familiar with Ashland Leather, uh, you'll notice the consistency with all of their products that have a name to them. They're all related to the Chicago area. This one is the Al Capone after the United States Prohibition era gangster and empire builder. Yeah, you can see these things about him here. It's full grain, veg tan, Horween English tan Dublin leather, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to uh, do, oh man, this is so fantastic. And this is a four ounce leather, very, very uh, generous in the leather that's here, and that's what kind of provides some of that size to it. And uh, it's not the slimmest money clip wallet you'll find out there, but the quality means that this thing will last a lifetime. It's hand waxed and burnished edges are not too much, but just enough to make this a really nice feeling looking uh, wallet for you. It's priced to $85. Often with money clip wallets, the clip can get in the way of card access. And now with this, you'll see how close the cards are to the money clip here. However, the design accommodates opening up the wallet with the exterior cards, not preventing motion here. And it just doesn't prevent motion because you can see the cards while they're close, 
uh, do not interfere here. And so when you close with cash, it still has accommodations for that. And because of that, it, the cash won't slip out very easily. And it's simple to get car or cash in and out of here. Now on the money clip piece, I kind of want to point out a couple things. With here, let's, let's uh, take some cards out. They're a little distracting than what I want to talk about with the money clip itself. So the money clip, of course, inserts in this separate area here. If we kind of pull this out, it's not easy to pull out. And the reason why is because they put some you know, sticky little pieces on here, uh, you know, a sticky, probably two-sided, which uh, provides the ability for this to stay in this slot. Because often one of the problems is that you will have uh, money clips that go into slots like this and they just come out super easy. So that's kind of a, a good attention to detail. Another thing I want to point out about this money clip isn't, is that it's not like others that you see. A lot of money clips are, let's pull this out again. See, it's going to stay in there. You can see that it has a very nice tension to it. And if we compare this to, oh, let me pull this one out here. This is the typical kind of, of a money clip you see. It's very flexible. It is a tighten design where you have to you have to twist it in order to tighten it because it will become loose over time. And you'll notice here that these that this one provided by Ashland is different. It's also taller. And of course you can get these in different sizes, but I want to point out that this is a solid shaft here. It's not a, a bendy flexible kind here. It does not you know work off of a spring that you have to tighten all the time. It's just a, a better design. However, what we see here is something that I would hope because of the quality of the wallet and the attention that goes into the detail of this, that we'd see a money clip that would evolve similar to what we see with the Farrah wallet or with the Mitchell wallet. The measurements on the wallet are 4.5 by 3 by 0.4, and it weighs 79 grams. A lot of leather goodness there. Now, I've come to appreciate the simple, minimal, and sturdy money clips that you see in the Farrah or the Mitchell wallets that I've talked about. And, uh, you, know, you know, the quality of this clip is something that Phil and Dan of Ashland worked to find, obviously. There, you can always find the cheap ones everywhere. But for the company, started by Phil and Dan, uh, Phil Kalas and Dan Cordova, isn't that great to have a last name of some of the fantastic leather in the world? How would you like to have that as your last name? Anyway, having worked the majority of their careers in tanneries, including the Horween Tannery, they now work exclusively with, Hor exclusively with Horween leather, and so you won't see any complaints from me about that. So now let's get on to the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of three, usability of four, and perception of five. That gives us a strong score of 42 out of 50. Yeah, the usability was a little higher in there because uh, I just knew that the design was such that it does make it easier to get cash and cards in and out of here. Hope to see you in the next review.